$1.9 million was gifted to the SUNY Polytechnic Institute from the family of the late Francis A. Wilcox. This is the largest individual donor gift in the school's history. The money will be used for the Francis A. Wilcox Scholarship Fund and the renovation of four electrical and computer engineering technology labs, as well as the purchase of new state-of-the-art equipment. This donation is just one of many ways in which he has helped the city of Utica. Eyewitness News reporter Jamie Azule has more on Mr. Wilcox and the generous donation. Francis A. Wilcox is a decorated veteran whose generosity in Utica goes far beyond the $1.9 million donation being given to SUNY Poly in his name. Mr. Wilcox spent his life living in East Utica. During World War II, Mr. Wilcox served in the U.S. Army Signal Corps in India. He worked as an electrical engineer at General Electric in both Syracuse and Utica, and upon his retirement, he devoted his time to volunteer efforts in the city. Mr. Wilcox volunteered at the Utica Public Library and the Oneida County Historical Society, and many local colleges have benefited from Mr. Wilcox's financial contributions. Even coming from that background to, 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 to here, this gift really stands out, not, not just to us, but the way in which he clearly had a community mind. He clearly had a desire for youth in this region to have top-notch educational alternatives. It, it really is striking, and, and we know that, that he uh, and his estate and his family have made very generous gifts, uh, you know, to Mohawk Valley, to Utica College, to other colleges in the area. And boy, I mean, you take the totality of that, it's, it's, it's kind of stunning, really. Mr. Wilcox passed in 2011, so it was his nephew Kevin Keeley and Kevin's wife Sue who worked with SUNY Poly to make the $1.9 million donation. $1 million will be used to fund the Francis A. Wilcox Scholarship. The scholarship will provide critical financial support to SUNY Poly students who demonstrate merit and or financial need. The scholarship will give preference to students enrolled in the College of Engineering. What we find quite often is that just a little bit of a boost, you know, in terms of a scholarship that reduces the cost of attendance a little bit, uh, can really make a difference maker for attracting a student to Poly. The remaining $900,000 will be used to support the renovation of four electrical and computer engineering technology labs and the purchase of new state-of-the-art equipment. Electrical engineers will likely be the largest beneficiaries of these labs, but the school offers technology training and engineering programs in mechanical and civil fields as well. That combination of engineering technology training and engineering training is pretty unique in engineering colleges, but it really requires laboratories. You know, that, that type of education is not it's not theoretical, it's not, hype, you know, it's not hypothetical. People need to get their hands on you know, new devices, new systems, learn how to work with them, and it, it, the experience just won't be the same without that. Additional updates will be made within the school's admissions building to improve students' labs and workspaces. The second floor of Concealer Hall will be renamed to the Francis A. Wilcox Engineering and Technology Wing. The updates are expected to be completed within the next 18 months. In Utica, I'm Jamie Agile, Eyewitness News. Republic